What is up, YouTube? Johnny B here again today, and we are with the Lexus IS350. I am doing a little bit of work to it, trying to finish up some of the last little details that need to be done with it. One of them being that the paint uh, had a, a little bit of orange peel, and it had some dust particles land on the paint, you know, while I was while I was drying. So it left like some weird spots in the paint that I didn't like. So I went ahead and sanded down the hood, the bumper, both fenders, uh, because the other fender that wasn't painted was actually uh, a little dull compared to the paint so I wanted to shine it up and it, it did uh, the car is looking really nice now after I did the polish and one of the things that I'm going to be doing in this video is installing a ducktail so as many of you know I like to install little mods here and there on some of the cars that I daily just to make them stand out a little bit and that's one of the things that I noticed that I like a lot on these cars the, to add a little bit of a extra flare to the rear end the front obviously I did the front lip front lip is like the Toyota TRD style one uh, that has like a little the edges on the sides right here are a little bit more lifted a little bit more pronounced it's still like an OEM style so it still looks good and then I did the ISF front grill so that's why you don't see your typical lines and then obviously I went with the newer headlights that have like a little Nike logo right there so just little things here and there that I like to do the cars to give them my personal touch um, still keeping them you know kind of OEM plus not going too crazy with the daily I don't want it to stand out that much but I do want it to be a little bit nicer than you know your typical car that's out there uh, driving around so one of the things that I need to do is polish the rear ducktail as well because I also painted it. it got a lot of dust particles in it and it does not look good at the moment but as soon as we buff it up it's gonna look perfect so before I can polish it uh, I need to go ahead and install it so to install it it's easy you literally just need double-sided tape but you do need to remove the rear emblem because the emblem is going to be going on the ducktail so let me show you what i'm talking about so here we are in the back of the is350 it already looks really nice i really love the look of these cars and then you see the big old fat tires that they carry anyways back on subject the rear ducktail is right here and if you look closely you can see that there are a lot of dust specks that landed in it unfortunately so not to fear that's something that can be fixed something that's not going to be an issue and uh, i'm going to show you guys how i fixed that and then as well i went ahead and removed the emblem i chopped off the little tips that go into the holes right there obviously i removed the emblem i'm going to be needing some more double-sided tape to go ahead and place it on the rear ducktail so it's going to be going like that and uh, that's why you need to remove it because it's going to get covered up anyway so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is just mount it i already did the double-sided tape on the on the underside i'm going to go ahead and line it up as perfect as possible I'm going to polish it and then i'm going to go ahead and put the emblem on and then the, the rear end should look 100 times more aggressive because that thing looks amazing in pictures so i can't wait to go ahead and install it just from the test fits it looks pretty crazy so let's go ahead and put it on All the 3M double-sided tape is now exposed. I got some of the expensive stuff. It is a huge roll. I don't think I have it here with me, but this is gonna definitely not be falling off with this expensive 3M double-sided tape, which is what you always wanna use. You don't wanna ever use the eBay stuff because if your wing falls off, it's gonna end up being a lot more expensive than if you would've just bought the good stuff and it's stuck on there good. So now comes the tedious part or the hard part is lining it up perfectly as you go ahead and place it down. I got it on there pretty good. Look at that. It just looks really amazing. Just having that extra little ducktail makes a big difference. And for some reason, it looks a little bit lighter on camera, but in person, the color looks pretty much spot on. Obviously the colors are never gonna be exactly the same, but with the shadows and stuff, the colors kind of like change. So you can see there where it's a little bit more brighter, the color looks a lot more even. So now that I have it on there, we can go ahead and remove all of this annoying dust particles that landed on there and kind of got the shininess a little bit more dull. 
got the ducktail all sanded down and got all of the little dirt particles off. Got some of the orange peel off as well. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and polish it. I'm gonna be using the wool pad with stage one of the 3M Perfected to get the shine back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and polish it. So that's just a, that's just a rubbing compound. So that's gonna remove all these scratches that we did with the 2000 grit sandpaper. So let's go ahead and buff it. So here it is polished up and this is just the very first stage. We got all of that orange peel off. Looks like I can still shine it up a little bit here in this area. So I still gotta do the polish. This is obviously just removing the, the scratches. So that gives it a nice, nice shine. So I still gotta finish up with a couple more steps. Gotta do stage two, which is with like a foam pad and then one with the hand. But overall, the car is looking good. The sun's going down, so I gotta finish this as soon as possible. So the project is nearing completion. Getting this ducktail installed was one of the last few things that I wanted to do to the car and you know make it look like my own, make it look a little bit with some personal touches, uh, things that I you know that I like for a daily. Obviously not gonna be going too crazy. Mm -hmm. 